Good morning. Good morning. Woke up to Sierra finishing her drawing here. Oh, here comes Brighters. Oh, Brighters. Want to say good morning? That's cool. Oh. Audience. Bryce. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not finished yet. Uh, I still got a few more. So we got blue and orange, and then in the orange ones I color it blue, and then in the blue ones I color it orange. That's so really yeah. cool, Sierra. Thank you. It looks better on the camera. <laughs> Isa looks cool. I'm learning this in art class right now. We're gonna make a harder one than this. Like it's supposed to be like a 3D illusional art piece. So we're gonna do one that like goes swirling up and down, so that it it still looks like 3D, but it's going like up and down like that. But it still looks 3D. Everyone voted on this one because it looked easier. <laughs> Sierra's like, no, give me the more challenging one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool, Sierra. Good job. Anyways, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to good morning. Uh, Thursday. 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 Yeah. Good morning, clan. Welcome to Tempe, Arizona. I love this place. The hustle and bustle of Tempe around Mill Avenue. There's businesses, there's, you know, there's college kids, there's bums. There's all kinds of people all running around here. There's just stuff always going on. I love it. I love down here. And then, of course, Mill Avenue at night is just like, holla, party time, right? So I'm headed out to uh, the hotel for the conference, which kicks off in about an hour and a half. Um, today is my work day. I'm volunteering. I'll be wrangling the speakers, getting them mic'd up, getting their laptops set up so that they're good to go for all of their, uh, their talks. And then tomorrow I'll do the same thing in the morning, but then I have my talk towards the end of the last day, so I'm pretty excited about that. So that new program that we and Tiffany were using to transfer files, super simple, super easy uh, to use, but for whatever reason, the connection speed was sucked. My hotel room seems to be fine. I think it's my home connection. The problems I've been having with my streams and streaming um, is affecting the, the upload speeds because it literally took till about eight o'clock this morning to get all the clips and then I edited like super fast. So you guys got a little extra long vlog today because I didn't have time to like sit and fine tune it like I normally do because um, I gotta get over here and, and, and help out, help set up. Um, but Tiffany did such a great job as usual when I'm not around, Tiffany like steps up her game and she totally like vlogs way more than she normally does and it's just such a great job i love it i think i should i should i think i should be away from home more often what do you guys think hi children hi hi how are you good how was school good kind of good. bad because we i tested all day oh that's fun yeah huh. um from 11 55 pretty much to 3 45. all right well i went out today and got us some clothes he assumes it's closed because it's in like bags. But what's it say? Famous. But where? But where? Shoes. Shoes are these. Mine are serious. So I found these first. Hold on, buddy. That Kohl's. Ooh, ooh, yeah, those are mine. Those are yours. To be like sister. Yay! So I don't have to actually have other bass. Like Mark, he has shoes that are, are only court shoes. He puts on other basketball shoes instead of like shoes like no, these. No, typically you do this. You put your socks on yeah. so you're ready to go. You put those on and then once you get in the court, these are cool. you put on your shoes. But then I thought, well maybe if I can find some Adidas ones, Nike and <clears throat> they'll go with your new shoes. <gasps> oh. Those match good, don't they? Yeah, but then. So I'll probably take, end up taking these back unless for some reason those don't fit and these fit better or something. So, but do you agree those will look cooler? Yeah, but I like black. Now really? You wear them though. Here, and then the same. Can I rip this off for? Well, no. decide which ones you want before you rip off tags, silly okay. goose. Okay. Also, that's a size five and those are size four. I couldn't decide on sizes. How's it feel? Good. Okay, yeah, I think you need the fives because those are like right at your. Your heel's right at the end. Yep. Those are too small. Your heels are hanging off, buddy. No, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> so what do you think? How about those? Oh, jeez. Are they squishy? Oh. Those ones felt soft, squishy. So we'll go with the Adidas to match your Adidas basketball shoes? Yeah. Because they're both Adidas. And then I'll just return the Nikes since they... And... Don't really fit well. So I guess Sierra did something pretty cool and exciting and different at school today, and she wants to tell you guys. 
So in science, we're learning about like the human body and bones and stuff. So we got to open up owl pellets today. And so she let it, my teacher let us keep some bones. Ew, are you like touching that with your fingers? Yep. Ew. Ew, now it's touching my table. All right, let's That's see. That's a skull. Oh, wow. And then those are its teeth that fell off. Wow. See its little teeth right there? So you're not like grossed out by that? It's cool to you? <laughs> We were using toothpicks at first, but then they broke, so then everyone just started using our hands. That's pretty cool, dude. I just called you dude. That's pretty cool, Sierra. So you learned something new in school today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that's what a pellet is? Well, a pellet is like a big, a little like ball about that size. Uh -huh. It's full of fur. And they... And bones. Regurgitate Yeah, it. the owls. So they don't, they can't digest the fur or the bones or sometimes like fish scales or teeth. And so they regurgitate it and it comes out in like a big fur ball that's all like dried and it has a crust around it and it has like a whole bunch of bones. The rest of the bones are at, home, are at school. We've got like little tiny, they look like your, oh I forgot what it's, humerus. That's like your bone up here. Right. They look like little mini versions of those. Mm -hmm. Oh guys, what a productive day. What a great day, man. Pressonomics is such a great conference. In the last three years, I've been an attendee because I've been working and volunteering, but the messages were kind of like, meh, I'm not into WordPress. I'm not a business owner, not an entrepreneur. You know, some cool stuff being thrown out there, some funny stuff. This year it's different because I am an entrepreneur. I am a business owner and I'm also a speaker. And so I'm taking in the talks so far today and like really taking it to heart and trying to like find some nuggets of info and some some lessons and man I tell you I'm picking some stuff back with me tonight uh, polishing up my, my presentation actually changing a few things up from things I, I heard today that like resonated and, and rang a bell um, because I'm a business owner I guess technically I am an entrepreneur even though I never considered myself one I never was like reaching out like you know, my goal wasn't to start a business. My goal was to keep making videos that I enjoy making while engaging and growing a community, an audience, which I have and I, I, and I, I did. But in turn, it turned into a business and now that's my focus. Now it's building my business and growing my business because that is the long term, that's the longevity and that's my future and my kids' future. And so now what I hear in here means a lot more. I have to say though, um, a lot of it I can't record. Most of you probably don't want me to record so that's why I haven't really got much on stage clips. Uh, but now we're heading to a little cocktail hour, a little cocktail party for the next hour and then dinner and then the after party. All right, so you finished your drawing. Mm-hmm. How's it look? What do you think? I like it. Look at that. Looks so cool. You happy with it? Mm-hmm. All right, so what'd your art teacher say? Well, we're doing this in class, and so I didn't really like the one I'm doing in class as much as this one. I think this one looks better than the one I'm doing in class. And so I asked him if I could bring this in as my project and do this as my grade. And he said yes, so I'm going to bring it into him tomorrow. And he can take it as my grade. Cool. Mm -hmm. So you're happy with it? Yep. Yep. Dinner is served. Mm -hmm. You guys hungry? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. All right, so made it easy tonight. We have some frozen fish stick filet thingies. Some mac and cheese, of course. You happy about that? And some green beans. Whole Ooh, bowl like for, full of green beans. You don't like it? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> mac and cheese needs some sriracha, huh? Yeah. I was I was swallowing my mac and cheese mac and cheese whole without chewing it. You're silly. A little spicy there. Very good. I say I'm not going to drink anything until until I'm eating the mac and cheese. The trick is you just keep on eating. Is that what your dad told you? Yeah. He's the spicy man master. <laughs> I'm the spicy kid. Spicy kid master? Mm-hmm. No, Baby! He was like, where's mine? Where's my food? Where's my dinner? Where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> you hungry, babies? Mm -hmm. Don't touch my beard. 
reveal. <laughs> Those are silly. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> that was not real. Good. Don't stop my green bean! Like All right, once again, done with dinner. Amazing food, just mwah. Josh and Sally know what's up. They know what restaurants to pick out and where to have for where to where we should go for dinner because the food is just exquisite. And now it's time for the after party, uh, which basically means cocktails and conversations. That's that's what that's the reason why I go to these things, right? I'm not a big drinker, right? I'll have a couple cocktails, but it's about the conversations. And a lot of these guys. I don't really know, but I've heard them speak. Um, I know Josh holds them in high regards, and uh, you know they've they've been introduced to me. Josh introduces me as like full-time YouTuber man. He makes a living making videos with his family and his kids. Like how awesome is that, right? And like I always see them like eyebrows kind of raised. Like oh really, really? So this is the moment. This is the opportunity for me to like actually conversate with them and talk to them and like share my story a little more deeper. And um, I love it. I love talking about what I do and my and my YouTube channel and you guys. Like I love it. Good night, guys. Tomorrow's Friday, which means it will be a good day because the last day of school and Fridays are always good. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Short and sweet. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Bryce is going to play on his iPod. We'll see her soon. Do her own thing. So, yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. No, you don't want to say good night? She just wants to say good night. Oh, wait. Okay. Say good night. Oh my gosh. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a night, get a head start on my editing, and uh, finish up my presentation for tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow on the last day of Prestonomics, and Friday, vlog on.